The Article 32 hearing at Fort Hood continued Wednesday with witness testimony after the defense continuance request was denied. Major Nidal Hassan, an Army psychiatrist, is accused of opening fire at Fort Hood, Texas last November. He is charged with 13 counts of premeditated murder and 32 counts of attempted premeditated murder. The Article 32 hearing is used to determine whether or not there is enough evidence to take the case to trial. The Fort Hood community is finding a way to remember the fallen in last year's attack with a memorial run on November 6. The Run to Remember half marathon, 5K and 1 kilometer walk will, will begin at 8 a.m. race day at Cameron Field on Fort Hood. As competitors and up-and-coming adversaries increase their capabilities, they may seek to challenge the Air Force in ways that will require a somewhat different mix of Air Force capabilities and response. This according to U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff General Norton Schwartz, who spoke Tuesday at the National Press Club in Washington. We would hope that this can be averted. But in the meantime, our guiding principle will be to continue to stand with our joint and coalition partners and to deliver the fullest possible range of air and space power effects. General Schwartz also discussed Secretary of Defense Robert Gates' budget strategy. Meanwhile, the Air Force is looking for input from airmen and Department of Defense civilians in a 2010 Air Force climate survey. The survey will assess the opinions and perceptions of Air Force active duty, guard, reserve, and civilian personnel. They'll be asked about a wide range of issues, from overall job satisfaction to resources to unit performance. The last survey from 2008 revealed that 90 percent of the respond respondents were happy with their jobs. And for the latest military news, signature programming and more, head to pentagonchannel.mil. I'm Staff Sergeant Allie Rose with your Pentagon Channel News Update. Well, celebrations are ongoing around the globe Wednesday as the Navy turns 235 years old. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Admiral Mike Mullen, marked the milestone with a statement commending the passion of the branch, writing, while the Navy's core values remain honor, courage, and commitment, their versatility and adaptability during these challenging times are also long-cherished Navy hallmarks. Petty Officer Dustin Diaz shows us how service members in Afghanistan are celebrating. The Navy is celebrating its 235th birthday at sea and on shore around the world. Here on October 13th in Afghanistan, they flew this flag, which has flown at Ground Zero in New York. The 404th Civil Affairs Team flew the flag at Ground Zero in March. They've brought it to forward bases throughout Afghanistan and will continue to until returning it next March. For the sailors in attendance, this birthday celebration was a memorable chance to get together with their shipmates far from home. You know, to have a flag that was flown at the World Trade Center that's going back to the World Trade Center, it just makes us uh, a part of history. Uh, what we're doing out here kind of reminds us why we're out here, why, we, why it is that we're doing what it is that we're doing out here. About 2,000 sailors are serving today with boots on ground as individual augmentees in Afghanistan. Reporting from Bagram Airfield, I'm Petty Officer Dustin Diaz. And Energy Week continues at the Department of Defense. Coming up ahead on Around the Services, we'll look at how leaders are trying to curb war zone costs. But first, reliable workhorse. We go downrange to take a closer look at how Afghan helicopters are improving security.